I'm Jean Garber, and I'm with Wendell Tombaugh, and we are here to talk about Wendell and his past years of being a judge and years of his contributions in Rochester, and today is his 99th birthday, so we are here to celebrate his birthday, so you will all know more about Wendell. So Wendell, how long were you a judge? in our community? Two terms. There were six year terms. The first one I had, I think four different ones who were running against me. And we have, we had uh, hit it straight. Uh, I, I felt that that, I, that was the first time that I had really got the right time. I never had tried it before, and I found that the, that, the, that the people were looking for somebody new. I, I got elected, and I, there was a, a Democrat, don't quote me, but he ran into some kind of a little problem. And that's when I was, where I walked in. Okay. And that I got, I, I, I got not only a lot of Republicans, but I got a number of Democrats. Mm -hmm. I, I knew later after the voting that I couldn't have done that without their help mm -hmm. too. So I, I, I did the right thing at the right time, and it, it popped uh, out just, just with, without my thinking about it practically. Mm -hmm. I did something that nobody had done, and I don't know if they do it now, but as soon as I, found that I was elected. I went around to all of the other judges in the area and told them that I was a little bit for a long time that I had not used. But I I was working hard, trying to get ready for it, and I'd, try, I'd do, do the best I could. And uh, I, they, they all seemed, I went to each one of them all around, and even up in the South Bend to the, duck, to the lawyers or judges. And uh, they gave me, some little things to think about, you know. I think that helped. It helped me considerably he, to, to know. He went to, uh, to different judges and told them, this is new to me. I've, ne this is, I've not done this before. And any suggestions that you, or any way that you could help me. And they all respected him for it. And were a big help. I, again, I, it wasn't me that, that thought of it. I, I, I must have had, I, I, that's too good to <laughs> take, the, take the whatever. For it. Yeah. And, uh, but anyhow, after I got on the bench, you can't imagine how many of them, almost all of them that I uh, talked to would call me and or write me and tell me that uh, they had a, a case that they wanted me to handle. And you can't imagine how, how I liked that because here was I 
and they seemed to like the way I was doing it. I was doing it a little different than it had ever been done before. And, uh, and it paid off. I had been called down there at uh, Wabash to be a special just, uh, judge. And they, the man and the and the, the wife, were just next to killing each other. Each lawyer wanted me to, to help them get ready and take their suggestion, which was it sounded very good. Uh, they would. Let the children go to the other one at a certain hour, and then the other one had to stay away. It was a normal way they did the things, and uh, and that uh, that was on Monday, I believe, and on. Saturday or Sunday, we set a time for a meeting. Uh -huh. But before we could do that, why this husband got a gun, and then on I believe it was on Sunday, he he shot her in uh, in the street, killed her. All I had to do, just say, you know, that it, what it was. I don't know if that was an agreed thing or not with, between the attorneys. I kind of think they did, and I, I think I approved it. And they, uh, uh, that meant that he'd go to jail or to prison. A hobby was woodworking. And he built a clock. Uh, what kind of wood was the clock that you built? It was wild. Wild cherry? Uh, wild cherry, yes. Almost uh, none left. And I had bought it from a, a farmer that had uh, had it uh, Cut down and and uh, sized up for so that you could. Uh, they were twelve inch or twelve feet long, and uh, so I wanted some at first to make a a, a what is it called? Well. It's a miniature grandfather clock. I don't know what the term was. Well. But he did a beautiful job. And all the wood, all of the working parts were wood. Well, it wasn't my idea. I saw something that I could send for and send, make him my stuff. It, it wasn't created, but uh, it gave me some wishes, and I got it to go in a little bit. It was more unique than he's talking about. I, but it was, and I think his son still has that clock. He and his dad. His dad, I think, was like Wendell. Anything that was a challenge, they were going to meet it, and they did. And a printing press was pretty expensive. And so he and his dad figured out how to print his own books, which he did, in the basement. And bound them. He bound his own books. You'd researched all these cemeteries in Fulton County. Yeah. And had r records. This is just one, one county. Yes. We got half of three others. Three, but, yeah, because a lot of people live in one and, and, and die, in, and die in the other. 
The right. library could give you, uh, uh, the, although this manager is new in, you know, since uh, I was there, but he knows who I am. And he's given me a, a pretty good r reputation uh, to when uh, when I've been o over there, and and I uh, appreciate his interest in me. Mm -hmm. He amazed me when he came here, and he pulled down a bunch of b b books that are in a folded way, and talked to us, and pretty soon he started putting them together <laughs> or putting them back. And I, I, amazed, I was amazed at anyone knowing what, uh, what they were doing with all of those rounded things, you know, and, and getting them in the, the right places again. Mm -hmm. But he, knew, he knows his business. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I, I have only seen him a few times, but I, I think they're blessed with a very good man there.